Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to basically go through a really, really simple and easy vegan pizza recipe. Now this doesn't call for vegan cheese or anything like that, but of course if you want, you can always add that in. I am trying to just find some really cheap and easy healthy meal options for you guys if you are trying to be more whole foods, more plant-based and transition to a more vegan vegetarian diet. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more if you're interested in minimalism or zero waste or more plant-based recipes. So let's get into it. So the things that you're going to need for this pizza recipe is some magic dough. Now this is a Hugh Friendly Whitting Stool recipe and it is so easy. It took me less than five minutes to make. The longest time is just letting it rest, but you don't have to let it rest at all for the pizza recipe, but I put this one in the fridge and I just took it out half an hour before I wanted to use it so that it would become at room temperature. So once you've got that magic dough, the recipe will be down below. You're also gonna need a tomato sauce. I make my own passata, which is so simple. It's just tomatoes, garlic, olive oil, and onion, bit of salt, and just boil it down, basically. It's super easy and it's so nice. But if you wanna be even lazier, you can just buy it straight from the shop. Especially because you can buy it in glass jars so that you can reuse. So that's a wonderful way to make it really quick and really easy. And then all the other stuff you're gonna need is just the vegetables that you wanna put on top. The best thing about pizzas is that you can make it as simple and easy as you like and really tailor it to anything that you, you really love to eat. So I'm going to put on some peppers and some onions. I put them in a separate bowl because I'm actually going to cook these first. And then in my other bowl, which I'm going to put on raw, is just some chopped cherry tomatoes, some courgette and some mushrooms. Now I chose these vegetables partly because I love them, but also partly because I can buy them unpackaged. So you put on whatever vegetables you like or whatever ones you can get unpackaged as well. So what we're going to do first is we're going to cook our peppers and our onions because then they can just sit on the side whilst we roll out our dough. All I'm going to be doing is putting a bit of olive oil into my pan. For me, this is a bit of a treat. This is why I'm using olive oil. I think it just finds that things just taste a lot better. But of course, you can use water as well, which I usually do in most other recipes. We're just going to cook this until they're nice and soft and then put them to the side. Now we're going to roll out our dough. So I'm just going to put it on a nice clean surface and just sprinkle over a bit of flour just to make sure it's nice and non-sticky. And then you're just going to roll it out to kind of whatever size or shape that you want. I'm keeping mine a little bit small just because I don't have a pan that's going to be big enough to put in my oven. Once you've done this, I worry because I'm a shit chef, really. Uh, so I'm going to put it into the oven just for a few minutes first to just cook a little bit because the worry can be that the middle of the pizza base might get a bit wet or a bit soggy. So to avoid this, I'm just going to put it in the oven for five minutes maximum just to get a nice kind of firm base and then I'm going to put everything else on. Now that I've got it out of the oven, I'm just going to put on my tomato base and then I'm just going to be putting my cooked ones below and then the uncooked ones on top. It literally is that simple. I'm now going to put it back in the oven to fully cook and to get all those vegetables really nice and cooked as well. Now that it's ready, you can take it out. I like to just put some additional basil leaves on top because they are so delicious and really fragrant. And then I'm just gonna chop it up and enjoy it. Making pizza really is that easy. And especially because I find it very difficult to find vegan pizza in shops. The only place you'd have to go is to a restaurant. And sometimes it's nicer just to make it at home instead. Anyway, I'm gonna end it there because I wanted this to be a really quick and really simple vegan recipe for you guys to try out. If you are trying to opt for a more plant-based diet, this is a great way to keep your favorite foods and just to veganize them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it so that I know to create more and leave your comments in the comment section below. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.